Choice Hotels has moved its corporate headquarters from Silver Spring to downtown Rockville. And the move is more than just physical. For us, this is a new beginning and a new start for Choice. After 40 years in Silver Spring, over 400 Choice Hotel employees are now reporting to work in downtown Rockville. As the company's president climbs the stairs at a recent tour of his new state-of-the-art headquarters, it's clear he's focused on the future. We are a company that is, I think, going to be a pretty interesting place to work. Um, a great environment to work in uh, and a company that is going to be very different five years from now than it, than it is today. Throughout the building, open staircases, airy workspaces, and a variety of non-conference room meeting areas can be found with an emphasis on inspiring creativity. The new building highlights the company's past, too. There's a history wall, and the color scheme incorporates reds and yellows a nod to the company's beginnings in the late 1930s. The colors are important to us. Um, they were the primary colors of the original um, Quality Court Hotels, which was a group of seven hotels. Another distinct feature, the central staircase, which connects floors to encourage interaction among employees. We're hoping we get them out of the elevators, they're using the stairs, they're seeing each other, and it represents more of a community versus I take the elevator to my, to my cube and I do my work and I go home. Home may be the last place these employees want to go. In addition to the innovative workspaces, there is a fourth floor outdoor patio that features a fire pit. There's a cafe area, and model guest rooms showcase the company's various hotel brands. Just across the street and under construction, the company's newest Cambria Suites Hotel, which is expected to open in 2015. We're glad to be here uh, in Rockford. We've been, we've been welcomed with open arms. The city and the county and the state have done a terrific job to help support us in this effort. Um, we're very grateful to them. For MyMC Media, I'm Sonia Burke reporting.